When most golfers swing their arms in a golf swing, they think they're doing something kind of like this. Just big arm motions. Moving their arms, dragging them through the swing. Notice how quiet my shoulders are. They don't even have to move when I'm doing this. This is all arms. This is what most people think they're doing. Let's put a second hand on the golf club and see what happens. All of a sudden, my shoulders get very active. Big shoulder movements. I admit, it feels the same. This motion feels like this motion. You can barely tell the difference. There's a huge difference in the movement of the arms between these two. So let's take a moment and look at what actually happens when you put two arms on the golf club. So what happens when you do put two hands on the golf club? Well, you come to this triangle position, which is most people's starting position. Remember, you have to keep your lead arms straight the entire golf swing. So let's see what we can do without moving our shoulders and keeping our lead arms straight. Uh, that's pretty much it. There's a little play in your shoulders, but not much. Uh, you can move the club head a couple of inches. The problem is you've got both hands on the club and both arms are attached to your shoulders. This is going to prevent you from swinging your arms. You literally can't swing your arms in, from this position. So what does happen? Now, what actually goes on with your arms when you do a backswing? We know from this triangle position that you're not swinging them. And remember, this arm has to remain straight the entire backswing. So what happens? There's only really one movement you can make. That's to fold your trail arm. Fold, unfold, fold, unfold, fold, unfold, fold, unfold, refold. That's actually the entire swing as far as your arms are concerned. Fold your arms, unfold. Refold your arms. That's the golf swing for your arms in a nutshell. I've called this origami golf after this motion of folding your arms in the golf swing. Of course, origami is the folding of paper. So it's a nice reminder that you're not swinging your arms, but you're folding them. Once you get used to that and get it through your head, a lot of your problems are going to disappear. Fold. Unfold, fold, and unfold. Now, let's just do some swings with the golf club. I want you to stand up straight when you do this. All those ankles will just get in your way. I want you to swing, just let your arms swing, and look at your arms. Keep your eye on your arms. Just swing back and forth. Just keep your arms relaxed. And look at what your arms are doing. Let's fold, unfold. Fold, unfold. Fold, unfold. Fold, and then refolds on the back. This is your natural movement, and this is what your arms supposed to do in the golf swing. Club naturally squares. Your arms naturally fold and unfold. Your lead arm naturally stays straight. Everything works the way it's supposed to. It's when you start thinking about your arms and trying to manipulate them that you have problems. Remember in the golf swing, you just fold and unfold your arms.